Hello everyone, in the last video we saw how to connect our Android app with Firebase real to Android database. In this video we are going to see how to do the crowd operation which means create, read, update, delete operations. Before moving to the crowd operation video, in the last video as of now I got two comments. One is regarding integration of Firebase authentication plus Firebase real to Android database. The 14 hours before one guy requested me to create a crowd based MCQ question app. So in this video, we are going to see how to create MCQ app and do the crowd operation. So before moving to the tutorial, so this is my YouTube channel guys. So please make sure to subscribe. So this will give a motivation me to make some good videos. In order to develop an MCQ based crowd operation app, so we want to create MCQ question model class. So before that, I'm going to create a model class. So now I'm going to create a folder. So you can see there are one package, right? I'm going to click this package. So here I'm going to create one models folder. You can see I created a models folder. So I just click this one and right click and create a new class. So in this class, I'm going to name it as MCQ model. So I just hit enter. So our MCQ model class created, you can see this is not arranged properly, right? So if you are using a windows, just press Ctrl Alt L. So that will arrange a programmatic line perfectly. So I'm using Mac. So what I'm going to do is I just use the option command and L. As you can see, this is arranged correctly. So inside this model class, I'm going to declare all the properties. So mcq mcq properties so inside this mcq model so one question answer one two three four four answers actually not answers four options and answer and every mcq must want to have a unique id i just declare as uid so that's all private string uid so i'm going to keep it as unique id so better to create a q id question id So now I'm going to create options. Option one. And finally the answer. So these are the properties for our MCQ model. So after that I right click here and click the generate and here I'm going to create a constructor so I going to select all the properties so I just click command all and hit ok ok this is created so I want to create an empty constructor so I just click here and constructor and click select none so this is okay so this is very important to retrieve the value from the database and finally i'm going to create a getter setters and right click here and generate getters and setters i select all and click ok so you can see so all the properties are set up well so now i'm going to that main activity class so here i'm going to change this path as questions questions okay after that i set the value as hello there right so if you go to our firebase you can see hello there is here right but i want to store the question i'm going to delete this one 
So as of now, you can see we just declare our database reference. For the reference, we set that reference for the question path. So now I'm going to create a MCQ model. So I just type MCQ. You can see MCQ model with our package name com.example.firebaserb.models. You can see com.example.firebaserb inside this there are models right so after that our model class so i just hit enter so i just create a model mcq so i'm going to create an object so here you can see for the mcq model i just going to set the value so you can see i'm going to use the setters to set the value so first one is question id this is unique second one is set question so then I, after that i said that i set the value for the model class using setters I hope everyone know about this setters right the WP concept that's called encapsulation the methods and properties right so now I am going to serve the MCQ model to our database reference so I just call database reference and here you can see there are set value right here we want to pass the object I just this one here in the set value I pass the MCQ model and after I pass the MCQ model I'm going to listen this event as of now we listen using on success and on complete right so I just use the on success listener so as of now I'm going to keep these tools and type a toast message here so I'm going to press this apply changes and restart so launch succeed right okay you can see i got the toast message as success you can see there are one node right that's called questions this questions coming from these questions so i just expand this one and answer option one option two and qid is unique and question so i'm going to delete this one the previous so you can see if I type a second question for example and second question and and apply changes success you can see this is overriding right but I don't want overriding so in order to prevent the overriding we want to serve the question into a unique ID right that's why I create a unique ID here so what I'm going to do is in the unique ID I have to pass a different ID so every time you suppress the button I'm going to generate a unique IDs so in order to generate a unique ID in the database difference there are there are one method push dot get key so every time we are trying to push the value to the database difference this will create a unique key so you can see database reference push dot get key so i'm going to store this one into a value string u id i just keep it as unique id now i take this unique id and paste it here so that's all so we set that unique id here right so every time this will update with this unique id inside this question id but not here right not below the questions right so for that what i'm going to do is so you can see before the set value there are one child method right i just call this child method and inside this child method i'm going to store this uid so now i'm going to restart the app it's success see inside here the unique id so you may confuse because of that i'm going to delete all the questions node and start a implementation
you can see this is created successfully so let's delete this one and restart the app you can see this is create another unique id so every time we are generating a unique id inside the unique id we are storing the question properties right inside this on create method we are calling the database difference and child and set values method right so in order to do so in order to make a operation to the database so every time we have to close and open the app right so, so that is not a correct method so in order to get rid of that i'm going to create a button i delete this one the one button property i just drag and drop button here so right click center horizontal center vertical and i'm going to click the split view here this is the button id this is the button property so now i'm going to the main activity so before that data face reference when i'm going to declare the view property button btn so here btn find me by id hard dot id dot button so this is button is a property of this button so i want to call this button before this method i just cut this one and i am going to call this button so i paste it here so now if i click the button every time that will create a entry here so let's restart that so i again delete this one and before i'm going to click the button so i just click button once you can see one entry is created right i click another time so another entry so this is working fine so as of now you can see i set the hard coded value right so in this time i am going to create a edit text and i am going to get the value from that so i am going to create a edit text here i click a design view and the text you can see there are one plain text right i just drag and drop here So I'm going to set the padding 5 dp. I'm going to leave this text property and make as hint question and questions and the options and the answers. I'm going to change the width properties as match parent. So this will give more space to type. So I just change every properties. Let's run and see how it's looking like. You can see this is overlapping the answers. I just click here and set below this answer. Okay, now run this one. Okay, now it's okay, right? So I can type the questions and options and options, options and the answers that's fine and after that user will click the button so i'm going to change the button properties as create question so now i'm going to the main activity and i'm going to declare all the ui properties into the main activity so here after the button i'm going to create edit text ed question e option 1 okay ed question ed option 1 2 and 3 and 4 and ed answers right that's called edit text so after this one so i'm going to create a comment elements
so i want to set the id for the questions this id is edit text person name i copy this one paste it here and finally ed answer so as of now i declare all the ui properties here so before that database reference i'm going to add one comment path for question path reference path reference for question that is database reference so inside this one i'm going to get the value from the data question and options and answers right so i just hit and so i just comment this one get the values from edit text So first I'm going to get the value from the edit equation get text and after that I want to make the text as string so after that I go I want to call the trim so this will delete the space before the text and after the text so this is a string value so I'm going to store it on string string question so likewise i am going to get the value from other properties as well so now i am getting all the values from the edit text so now i am going to set these properties to our model class so how are you this is a question right so i am going to take this one copy here and paste it here and the option one i'm going to copy this option and paste it here okay now restart the app and let's see how it works okay so now i'm going to type i just fill all the values and create the question and you can see success message right so you can see there are one node created i expand this node answer option so in this video we created operations for the mcq question app successfully from the next video we are going to see how we can read the value so as of now we store the value to the firebase real database right so from the next video we are going to read the value to our app so this is my youtube channel guys so please make sure to subscribe so this will give a motivation me to make some good videos